Hey planners, it's Taya Shante Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be pre-planning the week of May 31st to June 6th and using the Vintage Lilac Kit from Sadie's Stickers along with Lauren of Plan Most Plan and Rachel of Gathered Plan. The three of us are doing the Inspired by Collab Challenge, uh, which Lauren created and I am so excited for. Uh, we all decided to use this vintage lilac kit for this spread and we're also giving away $25 shop credit from each of us to Sadie Stickers, which you'll find the rules for the giveaway in the description box. Additionally, along with the kit, I'm also using this floral deco sheet from Sadie Stickers in, it's not a perfect match, but I only had one of of the deco sheets that match the kits and this deco sheet had like some leaves um and like little vines on it that were the right color and so i've decided to pull that in just to give myself a few more florals to work with so i'm gonna get started by putting down um the bottom washi and this was such an interesting challenge that lauren came up with because it's kind of different than anything i've done before in which as we were like going through and creating this spread our focus was on thinking about things that um, are the other people in the challenge, like things that they do that inspire us, things that we do that are similar and things that are different and stuff like that. And of course, I'll have the rules for the challenge in the description box in case you want to play along. And so um, one of the first things that I was thinking about when I was working on the spread was immediately that I'm constantly inspired by both of them, number one, um, which is amazing. Um, but I started um, with the date covers. And so right now I'm putting down my date dots and these are from Rose Color Days. I'm gonna start decorating my date covers. And that's something that like the inspiration for that was definitely something that I got from Rachel because um, she really picked up on the whole trend of decorating um, date covers with like trims and things like that and making them super cute in that way and what i started doing um and sort of picking up from the inspiration for that was wanting to pull in like florals and other types of deco to that and so i pulled out these um honey inked stickers and these are her wildflowers i think they're called um and just played around with like placements of them around the date covers and I thought that was super cute and I, I feel like this is something that's very similar to things that I've seen Rachel do with like decorating her date covers and, and the top of her planner so that it adds a lot of personality and a lot of character to the spread. And I also felt like um, decorating the top above the date covers was a trend that used to be kind of a bigger thing a few years ago in the planner community. And then we kind of got away from it for the most part, or um, I know for sure I did. And I haven't seen as many people decorating the top above the date covers like they used to. Um, I wanna say maybe like three, four years back, that was more of a thing. Um, but I also pulled in these little mini butterflies from Netty Designs. And these made me think of Lauren. Um, one of the things that we're supposed to do is incorporate a sticker that I love that I don't think one of the other girls in the collab would use. And I don't think Lauren would use these, but I think she totally could because she's not an animal person. She doesn't like animals and her spreads is not her thing. But those particular bows, because they're just simple little foiled butterflies and they look like little bow accents that Lauren uses a lot. Um, she uses a lot of little tiny bow accents and I feel like the shape and size of those little butterflies is similar enough to the bows that she uses that I think she would really like them if she gave them a try. Um, so that made me definitely think of Lauren. Moving into my sidebar, I put down um, that floral half semi-circled floral bunch is from Miss and Meow. Then I used the scalloped half circle from the kit. The June script is from Rose Color Days. Uh, that line divider is from Sadie Stickers along with the little bow accent that I layered on top of it. That vine header is from Panda Design, which I, Panda Bird Design, excuse me, which I placed underneath the quote box. And then I'm just building up my sidebar. I'm going to create um, a this week list for myself and I'm using the Monday through Sunday tracker along with a scallop header um, as placement under underneath my script adding another one of those foiled lines and foiled bowls from Sadie stickers here and because I was pre-planning this week I knew I wanted to keep track of some things um, that I was going to be working on in terms of like social media and and um, I focus for planning for this week and so I wanted to create a list for myself in the sidebar to cover that 
and then I'm putting down another one of those vine headers from Panda Bird Design. I love those headers so much. Um, and then using the habit trackers from the kit and the extension bottom washi into the sidebar. And I decided to add um, a few more of those florals from Honey Inked to that habit tracker to tie it in with what I had done with the date covers, which I really liked how those came out. Now, another... Um, trend I guess going back to um the trims for the date covers again something I'd, I'd definitely have seen Rachel do a lot in her spreads and do super well it's just decorate and add trims to her date covers and I just think it looks so amazing and so it was something I definitely wanted to incorporate into this spread um oh another another Rachel thing okay clearly I'm, I'm frequently inspired by her um but that flower is off of Rachel's freebie from Gather, from Gather Plants, from Honey Inked. Um, and then I layered a midi box on top of it. Uh, and Rachel was actually the one who came up with the name for midi boxes. And it's just boxes that don't span the full width of a column, which is a concept that um, Lauren definitely pushed really hard. And I think um, it was like something that she was one of the first people I saw really talk about um, how much she loved things that didn't span the full width of a column. And it became kind of a thing, uh, in my opinion, because of her. And I used that to mark my day off because it was Memorial Day. Uh, that day off script is from Artbox Stickers. And unfortunately, her shop is closed now. Then I used a header from the kit, the florals that I cut in half to trim underneath the header. The Memorial Day script is from Rose Colored Days. And I added another one of those little butterflies from Nettie Designs, who her shop is on a break right now because uh, she's on maternity leave. And I am hoping she will be back soon because I love tons of her stickers and I want more. Oh, now I'm doing another thing because definitely Rachel inspired when it comes to my box placement. I am someone who likes to scatter my boxes when I'm planning, but Rachel does this particular pattern with her boxes pretty consistently, um, where she'll start in the bottom corner on Monday and sort of work her way up diagonally across the first page and then do the second thing going from Sunday, from Thursday to Sunday on the second page. And so I placed my boxes in the same place that Rachel typically would on her page um, for the inspired by challenge. Um, and so... Also, you can see at the bottom of each column, I trimmed it with the Dangle Deco stickers from Sadie Stickers, which was definitely inspired by Lauren. I definitely feel like there were some things I got really well and, and came pretty easily to me with this challenge. And there were definitely some things that were much harder that I'm pretty sure I completely failed at. Um, but let's keep going. And because so far, I feel like I'm doing pretty good and I'm not failing at this yet. Um, and so... I was pre-planning this week. I am not like super picky when it comes to pre-planning and my planning because that was how I started when I started using my planner. Rachel and Lauren are both memory planners when it comes to like their sticker planning. And I've always been either plan as I go style or a pre-planner. So like right here, I just marked on Monday that I was gonna upload this collab video that you're watching right now, which we ended up moving. Actually, like when I marked that, I think we had... Um, officially decided it was actually going to be June 1st and so I'd already put it on the wrong day and then we ended up moving it to June 2nd so it was totally on the wrong day. I'm the type of person who's like really chill and laid back when it comes to where things are marked in my planner. I'm like did it happen that week? We good then. It really doesn't bother me. That would drive Rachel crazy. She could not handle that being on the wrong day, which is why it's good. She's a memory planner. She doesn't have those issues. As a pre-planner, sometimes you put things down because it was a plan and plans change. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel and I have a show called Plans Change. So now every time I say that, it's just like a random inside joke. Um, anywho, going back to my sidebar and putting down some of my script stickers and just marking... Um, that I was going to be tracking things that were happening for that week in my Monday through Sunday tracker and then putting down a no spin and a workout script for my habit trackers. Moving on to Tuesday, I this was something I don't think I've done before. Um, I'm not even sure which one of them to credit this to. But um, one of the things that like we were supposed to do, and I think we were supposed to like orient a sticker like in a different direction or upside down or something like we wouldn't do before and I don't think I really did that very well but this was something that I did that was kind of different than what I typically do in layering two square stickers on top of each other um 
and I was really happy with how that came out it looks so cute and then I added the florals and then that two dollar Tuesday script which is my favorite two dollar Tuesday script from Lilac Luna Plans and then here okay this one I'm putting down a sticker from Oso Paper and this is where I felt like I covered like two things in one full swoop um, because I'm using a character sticker which Lauren is not a character sticker kind of planner. She used to use like Fox, Fox and Pip stickers a couple years ago but she's really slowed down even on using Fox and Pip stickers. She's not really into character stickers so you won't see them in her spreads pretty often. Um, so number one I'm using a character sticker and that's different than what she would do so I'm kind of nailing, checking off that box in terms of this challenge and then also we're supposed to use a sticker that um, is from a shop that they haven't tried yet and that sticker is from Oso Paper which is a shop that neither of them have tried yet so that's two in one sticker nailed it super proud of myself <laughs> so then underneath the full box I wanted to mark that it was the first day of June so I repeated what I did in the sidebar in marking the month of June and I used though that um, sort of metal foil bunch cluster of florals <laughs> don't really don't know how to describe that sticker but it's from Miss and Meow and I think they're absolutely incredible. I really need like a bunch more of those because there were three on the sheet that I had that and I used all three of them in the spread in the rose gold color and so I still have my gold and my silver and now I need just a ton more of those because I fell in love with using them. Uh, that Hello June script was from Rose Colored Days and then underneath there I did mark unpacking my suitcase with a luggage icon from Crafts by Towie. Moving on to Wednesday, I'm going to start by marking that it was my midweek post um, that I like to do on Instagram on Wednesdays. And so because I was pre-planning um, and wanted to make sure that I had my spread done and completed on time for this challenge, I did pre-plan out the entire week, which um, again... I typically do like plan as I go, which includes me planning on a couple of different days. Like I'll plan on Sunday and typically on a Sunday I can pre-plan out to like Wednesday and then I'll come back on like Wednesday and plan out like Thursday, Friday, and then come back Friday and plan like Saturday and Sunday. It's more typical to like my plan as I go style. And because I was trying to like pre-plan out this entire week to make sure it was done in time to include this video in the challenge, uh, especially because the previous weekend I was going to be going on vacation and to get that done, I really just narrowed it down to things I either knew I was going to have to take care of for work or things that I typically do. Because as of the time that like this video is going live, some of these days haven't happened yet. Um, but, so this is definitely not memory planning. But I uh, marked down a report that I know I always have to take care of at the beginning of the month for work and then oh, really loved what I did with that floral from Honey Ink and then the little flowers from the deco sheet to create that little divider that came out so stinking cute. That brush stroke from uh, Miss and Meow, I marked chatting with Ray on the phone, which is something I do pretty commonly so that felt like something that was easy to predict um i'm currently listening to an audible book and it is bob Iger's ride of a lifetime which is such an amazing book i'm about halfway through it and really enjoying listening to it so i wanted to mark that i was going to be listening to that audible book some more um i used a header from the kit and then did some floral deco layering with the um colorful florals that came with the deco sheet and then added in those wildflower um foiled d foiled florals from honey eat yeah try saying foiled florals three times fast it is not easy trust me um and then i'm using a tv icon from planning world and just marking catching up on this is us i like to let episodes for this is us accumulate if i can because there's always like a cliffhanger at the end of those shows and it was getting down to the last couple episodes of the season and so i wanted to allow those to accumulate so that i could just binge them and not be like oh my gosh, I, I gotta see the next episode. It's gonna drive me crazy and I don't wanna wait a whole week. So I made myself wait several weeks so they could rack up those episodes and then I could sit and just like binge them. Um, <laughs> so that is the plan. Um, and then of course, finished off Wednesday by marking a workout with some little weights icons from the Pretty Pink Co. On to Thursday. 
starting by marking a workout and going into the month of june my goal is to really focus on my health and getting my weight down so working out and doing better with my eating habits is a serious goal of mine so i'm going to try to be very consistent with that uh, then i also marked working on some questions for the upcoming episode of plans change and then going back to this character stickers i'm placing another one here um and that's an interesting one because one of the things that we were supposed to incorporate is a sticker from our collection that we love but haven't used in a really long time and interestingly enough i i feel like character stickers are something that actually for me i haven't used in quite some time either same with this icon i'm putting down on this box where it's like the colorful icon that came with the kit i used to do better with utilizing the icons that came with the kit but i have accumulated so many icons from Crafts by Tawi. So she makes my favorite icons. They're like just foiled icons on white premium matte paper. So they coordinate with just about everything. And because I have so many of them and I'm so used to using them because I know that I pretty much have an icon for everything I typically mark, I'm more likely to reach for a Crafts by Tawi icon than to reach for an icon in the kit, even if the kit comes with icons. And so I think that is definitely Definitely a good example of um, utilizing a sticker that I haven't really used in a long time it is pulling in icons that come with the actual kit rather than using icons from my stash. Um, I'm on Friday and started off by marking a new release from Sadie Stickers. I'm on her PR team. Actually, all three of us are, which is so crazy. Oh my gosh. I think that is like the most awesome thing about this particular collab because this is the only PR team that all three of us are on together um, and I love doing things with Lauren and Rachel. They are my planner besties and the three of us really enjoy just like talking to each other about planning stuff because um, it's, it's our hobby. It's our thing. And to be able to come together and do this challenge together has just been so much fun and, um, and then especially because all three of us are on this PR team together which is the first time that's ever happened that the three of us have all been on a PR team together um and like I said definitely don't make sure to check out the rules for the giveaway so that you can enter to win a $25 shop credit because Sadie stickers stickers are amazing they just are um <laughs> totally talked over all of Friday I'm going to be working on um some posting for um behind the stickers which is um an instagram show that i do on igtv and then um a patreon post um i figured i'd probably do some shopping on friday on amazon because that pretty much happens all over the weekend pretty commonly and then of course i marked having dinner with the hubs uh in the evening because we tend to try to have dinner together on friday evenings um which because sometimes during the week we're both busy working on things or he might be doing homework but on Fridays we usually try to like come together and make sure we're spending time with each other on Saturday I started by marking sleeping in um and then oh I have my second vaccine shot on Saturday um and so I'm going to spend most of Saturday trying to rest and recover because from what I've heard the second vaccine shot is a little bit more intense than the first one the first one I did really well had very 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 minimal side effects if any um they hit my husband way harder than me he got um all of the headaches and dizziness and nausea um and all of that stuff after his first shot but my first shot didn't do none of that to me I like it wasn't it was not much of a big deal at all uh, which I was very grateful for and I'm hoping the second one <laughs> won't be so bad um also gonna um do my nails um definitely need to work on some editing and then just relax and uh go back to just like watching tv and chill because I want to have a very low-key weekend because um I don't know how that shot's going to affect me um Sunday started by marking streaming church online um and then underneath there cleaning up my office which basically means cleaning off my planning desk and putting away stickers which I desperately need to do I have so many stickers that are just like not in their right place and need to be put away um then I'm 
doing a little bit of layering again with the floral deco um, and just marking watching YouTube plan with me's and I'm going to finish up Sunday by marking the next episode of plans change which is the IGTV live show that I do with Rachel of gathered plans and those in those episodes are all saved on her Instagram if you haven't seen them and want to check them out they're a ton of fun we just talk about random stuff while we plan and it's amazing um, and so that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you have not already seen it go and watch lauren and rachel's videos their spreads are gorgeous and amazing and i'm heading over to watch their videos right now um because i love watching their videos thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're all having an amazing day and i will see you next video bye